Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing this morning? It's music series time again. I think we're up to number 10 now. But the uh, song I have for you today is another one from the early days of my songwriting when I first started getting back into it. As I said, I've written like somewhere around 170 songs, and so we're still near the beginning of my songwriting days. This song has two roots. First root has to do with my first electric guitar ever. My first electric guitar was a Sears Silvertone hollow body electric guitar. My guitar instructor put a new neck on it for me and uh, had a Bigsby tremolo, sometimes known as a whammy bar, and it was cool. I didn't realize how cool it was at the time, but it was cool to have an electric guitar. I used it in the first uh, band I ever played in. But Sears used to sell guitars. There were a lot of department stores that used to sell guitars. Sears was like the Walmart of its day, like, you know, Walmart and Target combined. It was big. It was huge. And they used to sell guitars through their catalogs, too. Uh, a lot of you young ones don't remember things like the Sears catalog or the Montgomery Ward catalog. It was sort of like shopping online, but a whole lot more cumbersome. Anyway, fast forward to the early OOs, and I'm getting into this relatively new, it wasn't really new at the time, but relatively new uh, online uh, shopping place called eBay. And I decided I wanted to try collecting some of these old department store brand guitars. Guitars like Harmony, K, Stella, Silvertone, Supertone. There were a whole bunch of them that were sold through department stores and through their catalogs. And they were usually crappy guitars. I mean, they were often solidly constructed. I mean, they survived for years and years and years, uh, but they weren't necessarily good, so they were cheap. So for an expir aspiring guitar collector with no money, it was a great option. So as I kept looking for these guitars on eBay, I realized that you know a lot of them were originally sold through the Sears catalog, and the catalog number for a pretty good stretch of time for a basic guitar from Sears, the catalog number was 319 point something something something. And it was interesting the way they worked because their basic guitar, whether it was a basic acoustic guitar, a basic classical style guitar, or a basic electric guitar, all had the catalog number 319. You know, it could be 319.1475 or because they had different colors, slightly different styles, but your basic guitar is catalog number 319. So, I wrote a song called 319. Sort of a bluesy, folky rock kind of bluesy sound. Uh, and here we go. Seen you hanging out around the scene. Heard you playing blues, yeah, play the mean. On the beat up old Tatan Wall. And it looked like it came from a department store. You made it sound out of dirty, man, you never play please. Sounds like you're playing all 319. Oh, 319. 319 Sounds like a play on 319 I heard the sound again the other day Some unplugged blues just blowing me away Not too loud but plenty hot The guitar player's giving him everything he's got 
Yes, I took me back like a time machine. You must have been playing on 319. Oh, 319. 319. You must have been playing on 319. That's all old folder from 1964. An old blues man sitting playing in the bar. Wearing the cheap seat but still looking sharp Playing guitar and blowing on the harp Might be the oldest looking guitar that I ever seen No use playing on 319 Oh 319 319 No use playing on 319 Them old guitars are sick of the young. So I'm sitting here thinking, man, I gotta get me one. I'm looking for a shop to ride sales, a patient army stores. I look up silver tone on eBay till my eyes get sore. I look for me now, Florida, and every place between. It's gotta go get me a 319. Oh, 319. 319. Three now it might be a silver tone, a Stella, or a Cape, a Harmony, a Rocket, or Sovereign Monterey. Might even be an airline, True Tone, Holiday, just a good cheap guitar made in the USA. A 319. Yes, I did eventually collect about a half dozen or so of these old guitars, and I sold most of them a couple of years ago at a garage sale, or I think I sold one of them down in Nashville, but uh, it's a tribute to an uh, American institution. Harmony and K used to be the biggest in terms of number produced uh, guitar manufacturers in the world they, and other string musical instruments. They made a lot of them, they sold them cheap, and you can probably still find some of them around today if you look hard enough. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. 319, an early song that I wrote. Not the greatest song I ever wrote, but I still have a certain fondness for it. Have a good one, everybody.